What's going on YouTube? It's your man Sand from the Mars and Mass channel. Today I'm bringing you another viewer request video. This one was brought to my attention by a user and subscriber slash supporter. His name is Mike Zilla. Uh, you can find him there on YouTube. I've been going back and forth with him. He actually has some pretty cool anomalies. So um, today we're going to do a little something different. Okay. I'm going to take a look at the billion pixel view from Curiosity at the Rock Nest. Now, uh, this is the white balanced photo, and the reason why, I mean, I have both links. I have the official link that you can take a look and download, and it's a TIFF file, of course, so it's a huge file, but there's a problem with that. Okay, the, the, the file that you can download, um, it when you zoom in, um, when you zoom into the photo and like if you want to go get some details out of a, let's just say an anomaly for some reason it is extremely pixelated like seriously he sent me a screenshot that uh, of a perfectly clear anomaly which I was looking for and the reason why I couldn't find it is because it was so pixelated that you couldn't even recognize it so if you guys come to this site this is NASA's official site okay and of course I'm going to leave the official link in the video's description for both so if you guys want to download the um, the billion pixel photo the TIFF file you're more than welcome I will leave that link in the video's description as well but the whole reason that I'm um, that I'm in this view in this cylindrical viewer because when you zoom in let's just say to let's just say to this this rock okay you can actually see edges you can actually see and you can keep going so you do have for some reason this viewer I think is powered by silver light or I'm not sure of the uh, you know the plugin that it does but if you go ahead you could see sharp lines you could see all this good stuff now that is the reason why I'm in this view because it is totally different when you download the um, TIFF file uh, things get way distorted that you know even if I were to bring it into Photoshop you really can't clear it up because it's just a mess so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna go ahead and focus on the anomaly that he wanted me to cover and I'm gonna take a screenshot of it and throw it into Photoshop and edit it from there so you guys will take the ride with me uh, you know I'll show you the steps of the way I'm trying not to make this video too long but uh, I did promise Mike Zilla that I will go ahead and create this video for him and you know we came to an agreement that I was gonna do it so it's very simple uh, he had pointed out this one anomaly here which actually looks like metal and it looks like possible like a possible if check it out I don't even need to do anything to this photo check this out this is such a great anomaly okay this here is a rock and like I said I'm gonna go ahead and take a screenshot of it and bring it into Photoshop so we can edit it and take a better look at it now as you can see here he's talking about this anomaly right here now this one has very sharp edges and it has uh, it kind of looks like metal so it's very possible that this anomaly could be a machine it could be some sort of metal because if you look at the surrounding area you do not see these sharp edges and so forth I was actually looking around this photo uh, for a while and I seen a bunch of different anomalies which I do have a bunch of cool ones that I did screenshot and I will show you the location of them in this photo so what we're gonna go ahead and do is this I'm going to go ahead and screenshot the anomaly that he wants me to take a look at okay it doesn't matter what I get in the in the picture because I'm still gonna edit it and I'm still gonna go ahead and drag it into Photoshop and it actually works it actually works better believe it or not um, I actually did have another one and we're gonna go ahead and get to this one right here because this one is just a really really totally nuts uh, anomaly so let's go ahead and do exactly that um, let's see see here this is the perfect example example you see this this is the same exact spot and this is the one that you get to download you see the pixelation here this is the same check this out this is the same exact thing now look this is this is exactly what I'm talking about this is why if NASA doesn't want to show you anything they're not going to show you anything you see this big black rock that is this right here let me see that is this right here and if you see this thing this is the anomaly he was talking about so there is a significant difference in viewing from 
the uh, cylindrical view from NASA's direct website to the TIFF file that you get. This is the reason why I could not find the anomaly because I couldn't recognize it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and X that one out. We don't need that one. Um, this is going to be the anomaly I just took a screenshot of and we're going to edit it in Photoshop. Now as you can see it's much clearer. Okay and now we have something to work with. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, copy the layer. If you guys wanna go ahead and take a look at the pixel, the billion pixel view from NASA, I advise you to go ahead and do the cylindrical view because for some reason, NASA thinks that one's more important and you can see much more detail. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do, since I this, this photo is not that bad, so I'm not gonna blur it, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and get my pointer, but I will, Go ahead and create an adjustment layer for the levels because it is way too dark. So let's go ahead and do this. Now guys, I had stated before, because they make my pointer so big, it makes it a little clumsy, uh, you know, to go ahead and uh, hit the little menu buttons when you want them. You know, it's just, I'm doing the uh, pointer thing for you guys. Now check this out, guys. I mean, this is a really cool anomaly and I'm so glad that he sent it to me. Um, as you can see here, it will get a little pixelated and granulated, but, you know, there's just so much that you just can't, I mean, if you go ahead and name the black, that's really not going to do much, but you need the white to bring out the anomaly. Now, check this thing out, guys, because this looks, you know, these look like rocks, okay? This one granted, this one granted, but this one, even if you take a good look at it, it has perfect side here, perfect side here. It even has a top piece, and what really, really messed with me is that this looks like it is circular on the top. So this very well may be a machine or piece of metal. This does not look like a rock. I mean, check this out. What rocks do you guys know that have a perfect 90 degree angles on the top? and come straight down and it looks like a thin piece of sheet metal it's the best this is the best thing that I can actually say okay and it's flat totally flat on the bottom and I'm guessing let's see if NASA's is hiding anything underneath it make sure I'm on the right level uh, level on the right layer let's see if they're doing anything to it I mean it's very possible that they are but being that this is now a screenshot it is really not gonna pull too much detail out of it but you can see that they did uh, mess with it. So I definitely want to go ahead and thank Mikezilla for this. This definitely looks artificial in nature. This does not look like a natural occurrence. It it has too many perfect sides to me. So like always, guys, the official links to the billion pixel photo will be in the video's description and which I advise you, you can take a look at it because I will leave the link. But the cylindrical viewer from the NASA, you can even expand it to a, a full screen, which you can get so much better detail out of it, and you can see so many more different anomalies. And I just wanted to go ahead and thank Mike Zilla for that. He's been a subscriber since I started the channel. Really cool guy. And you know what? I did make him wait a little bit, so I apologize for that. But th you want to know what? That's because I couldn't find it. You've seen that, right? You guys seen this. Look at this. This is so, this is so bad. Let's see if you can see. This is so bad. Look at this. Look at the look at the difference. This just goes to show you, like I said before, NASA doesn't want you to see something. They are not going to let you see it. Check it out. Look at the difference here. Look at that. That is so retarded. Look, this is the same rock right here. I mean, that's the reason why I couldn't find it. So I do apologize for that, and I give Mike Zillow some props because he's very patient. And uh, what I want to do now, uh, since we did get uh, this anomaly pointed out, I think that is a really cool anomaly. These, There's so much in the rock nest, it's unbelievable. And I know plenty of people have done the, uh, the photo. But there was something other than this that really struck my attention. Now, if you guys can see this, in my mind, I'm going to let you guys know. I'm going to show you first in the photo, in the billion pixel photo from NASA, what I think this is. Because this to me, now guys... I know there's going to be a bunch of comments and everything, but this looks like a carcass of something. Looks like something died here, right? These look like backbones, but yet whatever. This in the middle here kind of looks like a weird spider. I don't even know how to describe it, but you can see it, guys. Check this out. This looks like the body of the beast. It has two eyes here. It has like some some sort of like a like a mouth or something. And get this. This thing looks like it's got long legs sticking out of it. You could see one in the back here. You could see one right here. Now the legs come straight out, then hook down 90 degree angle. And this thing, why it, it, it leads me to believe that it is some sort of, because it's got like three, four legs. 
look at this. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the adjustments, but I'm first going to show you where I got this from. Okay, because this is an amazing, an amazing anomaly. And the NASA pretty much put a big blur on it because obviously they didn't want you to see what the hell's going on here. And which I can see because this thing looks like it's chowing down on some type of dead carcass or whatever. But you can see it here. This looks like the face of it. It's got two eyes right here. And it looks like it's like, I don't know, think of a spider. And you think of the legs and the arms coming straight out of it. And it's got like this weird mouthpiece. And here's another leg that comes straight and then goes straight down. Goes another leg in the back and cuts straight down. So I'm going to go ahead and show you where, um, where it is exactly on this photo that you can find this anomaly. Because this is just crazy. Okay, what we're going to try to do here is we're going to go ahead and get into full screen. Okay, so that was the location of uh, Mike Zilla's anomaly. It was over here in this area somewhere. Let me go ahead and back it out just a little bit. And it's right here. This is how I judged. You see these, these rocks here and you got this one that's shaped like a cone. If you go up here into this area, you'll see it right here. And you can get a really good view of it once, um, once you go ahead and locate it. And like I said, NASA, I don't know what the hell they're doing over there, but there's just to there's so much of a difference when it comes down to the two photos that it's amazing. Oh, here we go. Guys, it is right here. Check it out. Now, okay, let's just back it out totally. <clears throat> I'm going to give you guys some rocks to judge. You guys can see this. It's going to be right by the rover, right? You're going to see a bunch of rocks over here. Let me go ahead and get back into there. And you'll notice by that you'll be surrounded by these big rocks and this platform over here. This is where the location of the anomaly is. I think it's right there. And this one is the crazy one, guys. This is the crazy one. Look at this thing. This And you can't tell me it's not here because I just showed you. This is the billion pixel view. It's got a billion pixels in it. So look at this. This looks like kind of a carcass of something. And there's that spider looking animal. Which is crazy because I already took the screenshot of it and I'm going to go ahead now and edit it into Photoshop. And as you can see, I'm not BSing you because it is right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's go back into Photoshop. This is going to be a long video that I need to edit. All right. So what we what we already did was copied my layer. Now, I don't know if I should blur this. Let's see what would happen if I did. Um, let's do, uh, let's do an even one pixel, uh, blur of this thing, right? Now, we're going to go ahead and adjust the levels because it is a little too dark in some spots. And as you can see there, I think it's coming to light. Now, guys, tell me if I'm crazy or, or what, but that thing looks like it's, the thing looks like an animal, and I'm going to go ahead and try to prove it to you that this would be a carcass, and this would be this crazy-looking animal here that looks like it's got spider legs coming out of it, and it looks like it's eating. You know what? I mean, there's some crazy stuff on Mars, but this, I think this one takes the cake. So let's go ahead and see if I can bring it out a little bit more. I don't want to go ahead and overdo it, but I tell you what. Let's go ahead and try to get rid now, my sharpen tool was set to about 50. I'm going to go ahead and lower it down to about, <clears throat> let's go to an even 30% because there is a lot to cover here. And make sure you're on the right layer because if you do it on your levels layer, then it's not going to show crap. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, guys, if you could see what I'm talking about, I'm just lightly going over, a, I'm just lightly going over this anomaly. And I'm going to show you this is just nuts. My NASA is very slick. Look at these things. There's just anomalies everywhere, guys. Everywhere. I'm like, there's not a spot in this photo where you're not going to find something. I'm telling you. And I thank Mike Zilla for bringing this back to my attention because there is so much stuff in here. So much stuff. And, you know, I was aware of it, but let's go ahead and check out what I'm talking about because I think that one was pretty nuts. Check it out, guys. I want you guys to look at it. This could be like the head area. This could be one eye. This could be another eye, right? 
This could be like this thing's got like a beak. This thing could be like an like a like a combination of of animals. But check it out. It looks like it stemmed from the center core. It looks like it's got some leg here. This is not a rock. Come on, guys. You guys can't. You guys got to level with me. I'm so excited because this is a really cool anomaly. And the first one was too because it looked like sheet metal for Christ's sake. Now you got this thing. You ever see, I, I would believe, maybe a lobster. That's what I'm talking about. Where the legs look like it comes out of the body, but it looks like it comes out of them in a weird way. Right? Check this out. You got the head of this thing. You got the one leg that's, this is like the center core of this animal. And it looks like it's sprouting out there and comes to it an angle there. Then it looks like it's got another one here and it looks like it comes straight down. Then it looks like it's got another leg. It comes up and then comes straight down. Guys, this is nuts. You know, I was really shocked when I seen this. But like I says, if you guys want to go ahead and take a look at the official links, I will provide both. Okay, I will provide both official links so this way, in my opinion, go with the cylindrical view, not the panoramic view because it's just going to shoot you around the photo. But the cylindrical view, it is so much better quality, guys. It's just amazing, right? Let's take a look at what we got here. This is a weird looking anomaly. Look at that, and there's so much thing, so many things in these in these rocks that that NASA covers up. I love doing this, guys. I, I really do. I can do this forever. It is really, really cool that you could find anomalies. This looks like a carcass of something. I don't know. Maybe this could be like a big lizard or a Euromastic dragon. Who knows? I've even showed you guys some some speculation of dragons that will look like the, the carcass was up on the surface. So this this is very possible that it could be. You know what I'm saying? This is the this is the main attraction too. This thing is crazy. It looks and NASA blurred the crap out of it. You can see it. Let me go ahead and do something real quick. I don't want to make this video too long, but I definitely did want to go ahead and bring that to your attention, guys. If you go ahead and do this too much, it's gonna distort. You definitely don't want it to distort, but I definitely want <clears throat> to bring some features out on this guy. It is just it's amazing to me, guys. It really is. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. I'm going to go ahead and get back into this. I'll give you guys another view of it. There it is. This way you guys don't think I'm BSing you. There is so many anomalies in this photo. It is. For, listen. You got you got 125 megabyte pixel. Uh, 125 megabyte files. This is billions of pixels, guys. This is just bananas. Check this. I just thought this was really cool. It's got nothing to do with that, but they say it's JPL in Morse code. Really? Who's the Morse code for? Huh? Yeah. Who is it for? The rover? Yeah. All right. But anyway, guys, I want to try to end this video now. Check out my wallpaper. That's pretty cool. Even though there are a bunch of liars over there. Um, check it out for yourselves, guys. I will. I don't have the official links to the this exact spot, but like I said, you got to fish for it. And you'll see it. Trust me, it's right there. But I will leave the official link to both of the photos. We, you can interact with the photo itself. Here's the anomaly. Let's go ahead and do that again. I think that is just so cool. It looks like a box or a device or something. Thank you, Mike Zilla, for this anomaly and bringing this to my attention. You're the man, buddy. And guys, listen, my invite is still open. Uh, today I have to do the giveaway, and I'm going to do the winner later on tonight. Uh... My invite's still open. If you guys have any anomalies and you guys want to email them to me, go ahead and shoot me an email at marsunmasked at gmail.com. Make sure you guys have official links. Okay, please. If the official links makes my video so much better because my subscribers and supporters, they can go to this, the photo that I'm working with and see it from themselves. If I don't have an official link, then I'm probably not going to create the video. So don't take offense if I don't. But I try to stay away from Google Earth because of the coordinates nobody wants to sit there and type in the coordinates it's just as simple as that people just want to click the link look at the photo okay he's right that's it bang done and that's pretty much going to do it i just can't get over this anomaly this one looks like metal thanks mike you're really you're really cool guy and thank you for bringing that to my attention like i said i'm sorry it took so long but uh we got it done buddy we definitely did and uh now the world knows about it or at least all my subscribers and viewers know about it that you know, here's just some more proof to add to the books, guys. And that's going to do it for me, guys. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Both links will be in the video's description, which the uh, 
the TIFF file is going to be crap, so I wouldn't even bother, but the link will be there. And guys, that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much. I'm going to see if I can get another video out. I'm sorry if this video was really long, but there are things that I needed to cover, and I definitely needed to cover this anomaly for my supporter. And that's going to do it for me, guys. Have a great weekend, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Later, guys.